So these cars, they're actually pretty reliable if you keep up on like the oil changes and just regular maintenance on these things. And I will say the control arms on these cars do go out way more often than any other car I've ever driven or ever, you know, heard about the problems with the control arms. Not, not even really problems, but you know, you get the point. They wear out. As well as the tires on these things. I don't know if this is like a regular thing, but the tread on the rear tires go out like so quickly and I, I don't really understand why. Um, it doesn't make sense to me, I don't know. Now, if we're talking my honest opinion on what you should get, it would probably go to the 07 through 09 versions of these cars because the 03 to 06, they tend to have an oil consumption problem. And if you guys do end up getting like the 03 through 06 version, the front two cylinders have a hard time getting air to them. I don't know why that is, but just from it being made out of factory, it has that kind of problem. But if you get a plenum spacer, it can usually tend to fix that problem. Now I have the HR motor. I mean, this thing is super, super, super dirty, but um, this one doesn't have the oil consumption problem. This one's actually really reliable and it can hold up a lot of modification done to it. Now I have the HR motor, which has the two intakes instead of the one, the DEs. They hold, I believe, 270 horsepower to the crank off factory, and these ones hold 306 crank. See the difference there? And yes, the main reason is because it has two intakes instead of the one. Another common question with these is what is like the miles per gallon that these things get? Mine personally gets 12, which is terrible. I know. I need to get it retuned, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's my problem. But these things can get on if you have it really well upgraded and you have the correct tune you can get anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per gallon easily out of these things now i think mine has a bad air to fuel mix ratio and i think that's purely why my miles per gallon is at 12 instead of the 20 it's supposed to be at but one of the absolute huge benefits with having a 350 or 370 actually is the modification that can be done to these things on a stock motor is actually insane and the variety of aftermarket parts you can have on this car is insane. There's literally thousands of websites and thousands of different offers on like OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace and everything like that for these cars. Now that we've talked a little bit about inside the engine bay, let's go inside the car and show you guys the inside. So getting in here initially, you have so much legroom, by the way, so much legroom. I did not think I was going to have this much legroom in this car when I initially bought it, but there's so much room for activity pause but there is a downfall with the inside of the 350z and it's that the door handles actually they give out quite a lot i don't know why that is but as well as your center console will actually break that happens on a lot of z's a lot almost all of them and i've i've never seen anybody else with this problem but my yeah no that's broken and it should not be like that oh and also side note since I just saw this. Yes, the car is auto. A lot of people don't like that, but with these cars specifically, you can get an auto or a manual and you'll just, you'll have just as much fun. It's insane. With the manual mode in this car, you can actually bring it down to drive and kick it over and you can shift your own gear still. It's amazing. Let's head out here really quick and we're gonna pop the trunk. Now my truck is really messy right now. Holy shit. And the struts actually go bad on these cars a lot, but there is so much space in the back of these cars for grocery getting i mean come on but now that we're right here these struts on the hatch they tend to give out a lot I, this is my second pair i've bought in i just need to upgrade to better aftermarket ones but these things they give out a lot and i mean it doesn't really hold my hatch anymore and i mean who doesn't buy these cars to hear the pure trumpet that this thing's got on the back but getting back to the main question is this a good first car in my opinion yes it's amazing you can have so much fun with it it's just the right horsepower to where it's not too dangerous on the road for people that don't know how to control the horsepower and two it's just you can make it however you want with the amount of modifications that can be done to these things but if you guys have any questions about the z drop it in the comments down below i'll for sure be getting back to every single person that comments i love you guys